If you haven't watched my other two videos on Euclidean geometry, please do so. I will link them in the description below. Okay, this is another question that we're going to look at. So let's look at the question. In the diagram, EF and EG are tangents. So this EF and this EG, those are tangents. So we have um, the tangent theorems, which is tangent from the same point, tan cot theorem, and we also have tangent perpendicular to radius. So let's start with the tangent from the same point. We know that EF will be equal to EG. Those are tangents from the same point. So therefore, those two sides are equal. At the same time, these two angles, the, I mean this triangle forms an isosceles triangle, meaning that F1 will be equal to G1. So you have this equal to that. Okay. And then the next thing we look at, radius perpendicular to tangent. Because O is the center. It's, you're told that O is the center. So therefore, OF is a radius. So OF is a radius. Therefore, it will be perpendicular to the tangent. And OG is a radius, also perpendicular to tangent. Then the next thing we look at, tan court. Angle between tangent and the court which is this angle. It's equal to the angle that is subtended by the same chord on the alternate segment. So we go this way, we go that way. This is where the lines meet. So can you see that angle F1 is equal to H, meaning that F1 is going to be X, uh, also G, G1 is also going to be x because we said those angles are equal okay another thing we are told that if o1 is the center we can use angle at the center equal to uh, is twice angle at the circumference okay so angle h which is x is subtended by this arc because if we do this we'll end up with h but also Angle O1 is subtended by the same arc at the center. So angle at the center twice, angle at the circumference. So this is also 2x. So O1 is also 2x. Okay, let us continue. Okay, we are done with the center. We are done with the tangents. Now we, we deal with the parallel lines. We are told that FH is parallel to to ek so fh and ek are parallel so if you have parallel lines we look for corresponding angles we look for alternating angles and we also look for the core interior angles okay so corresponding angles there's our f you can see that angle h correspond with k1 so that angle k1 is x as well okay so do we have alternating angles we know that this which is f2 plus f3 will be equal to k2 so f2 plus f3 this angle will be the same as angle k2 Right, now we have filled in all the information, we can start looking at the questions. The first question here, they say prove that FOGE is a cyclic quad. So FOGE, that's F-O-G-E, that's a cyclic quad. That's what we have to prove that it's a cyclic quad. Okay, so this is what we are trying to prove. We are trying to prove that those four points are lying on that circle. Okay, let me do it properly. Okay, the four points. Four points are lying on the dotted number 2.1. So 2.1, 2.1. All we can say here, you can say 
angle F2, F1, plus angle F2, plus angle F3, which is this angle. We've already said it's 90 degrees. So that is 90 degrees, reason, tangent, perpendicular to the radius. And we also have angle G1 and G2, which we already said is 90 degrees. Angle G1 plus angle G2 is equal to 90 degrees. Again, 10 is perpendicular to the radius. Then we can say, therefore, angle F1 plus angle F2 plus angle F3 plus angle G1 plus angle G2 equal to 180 degrees, 90 plus 90, which is 180 degrees. Then we can say, therefore, F O G E is a cyclic quad. What's the reason? The opposite angles of a quad are supplemental. And then that's the end of that question. Okay, on to the next question. We have to prove that EG is a tangent to the cycle uh, uh, G J, K. So E, G is this line. We are trying to prove that this is a tangent to the circle, circle G, J, K. So G, J, K, which is this. So basically we are proving that, uh, we are proving that E, G, E, G is a tangent to to this orange circle. Okay. So, this is 2.2. .2. We have already said that angle G1, uh, in fact, let's start with angle F1. Angle F1 is equal to X, that will be 10 cot theorem. And then angle G, and before we go there, let's indicate that E, F, EF is equal to EG, that will be turns from same point. Okay. Therefore, angle G1 is equal to X, that angles opposite equal sides. Okay. So prove that angle G1 is X. And we also know that angle K1, we've already said that is X, which is this angle K1. Remember here we used the corresponding angles, because that's our F. So uh, the reason would be corresponding angles, corresponding because EK parallel to FH. Therefore, from there, we can conclude that angle G1 is equal to angle K1. Then we can say, therefore, EG, EG is a tangent. Now, EG will be a tangent. Why? Because we have proved that this angle is equal to that angle. So that will be the converse of tan court theorem. So the converse of tan cot theorem. We're not going to say tan cot theorem, but we use the converse to prove that it's a tangent. Okay. Then the last question now, 2.3. Prove that FEG is equal to 180 minus 2x. So FEG, we're well, proving that this is 180 minus 2x. So that is question number 2.3. 2.3. So you're trying to get the value of this angle. So there are many ways of doing that, but we've already proved that EFOG is a cyclic quad, and the opposite angles of a cyclic quad are supplemental. So we can say angle E plus angle O1 
equal to 180 degrees that is opposite angles of cyclic quad Let's prove that this thing is a cyclic quad now if angle if angle uh, o1 is 2x therefore angle e is equal to 180 minus 2x so that's the end of that question